Yes, people, or what is going on YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. Over here, I discuss all things fragrance, perfumes, colognes, whatever you want to call it. So if there's any video ideas you've got or videos you want me to create, make sure to let me know down in the comments. So a couple of weeks ago, I dropped a summer fragrance video letting you guys know some of the best summer and spring fragrances in my collection that I consider you guys checking out. And since then, I've picked up another fragrance, so I thought, let's dive in and discuss that a little bit more. So you guys may have already seen from the title or the thumbnail, but the fragrance house we're going to be talking about today is the Australian niche fragrance house called Goldfield and & Banks. And one fragrance I've spoken about a lot is this one here called Ingenious Ginger and we're going to be comparing this one to the one I just picked up which is called Pacific Rock Moss and both of these are totally different scent profiles but both are fully suitable for the spring and the summer so let's dive into it. So let's start out with Pacific Rock Moss. Firstly the juice on this fragrance is absolutely incredible. It's one of the best I own man that light blue and I actually picked this one up in Javoy in Mayfair and it was between this and Bohemian Lime which I also have heard a lot of good things about. But the only thing is when I tried Bohemian Lime, I was with my boy and then when he smelled it, he's like, oh, it just reminds me of like a washing up powder or a detergent. And from he said that I couldn't really get it out of my head. So of course I smelled this one. I like this one a little bit more. So I had to pick this one up. And in store, this one smelled absolutely beautiful and it still smells exactly the same. Here's a quick atomizer check for anyone who likes that. Two sprays there. And what you get with this fragrance straight off the bat is a proper kind of sweet slash sour citrus in there so you get a heavy note of lemon in there and complementing that is a definitely like a nice saltiness to the fragrance which i like with other fragrances like dolce and gabbana light blue or intense and another one i've got up there called french riviera it has that same kind of dna and i explained it in a little tiktok video i dropped a couple days ago but this fragrance when you smell it or when you wear it it kind of takes me to a holiday abroad when you're like sitting on a sandy beach you've got the ocean breeze in the air and you've got the tide coming it's just that kind of fresh daytime going into the evening kind of smell and yeah man I'm a fan and to me out of these two fragrances this one is better suited to the hot hot days just because it's got that kind of saltiness in and it lasts all throughout the scent whereas Ingenious Ginger which we'll come on to in a minute is slightly different in the dry down and the only problem when it comes to Pacific Rock Moss for me is the performance and the longevity so on my skin I expected a little bit more I was kind of thinking I'm going to get eight standard eight hours I actually got like five to six which isn't amazing for a fragrance you're spending 138, 140 pounds on. And in terms of projection, it was decent on my skin for, I'll say one to two hours, but then the last four hours, it did sit closer to the skin. So if there's anyone out there, because I know people like a lighter fragrance on their skin. You don't always want to wear a beast mode fragrance that performs crazy, especially not in the high heat. So if you like a lighter fragrance, one that sits closer to the skin and smells nice and subtle, I would definitely pick Pacific Rock Moss out of the two. And now onto one of my favorite fragrances. This one here is Ingenious Ginger. And this does have a similar profile in the opening to Pacific Rock Moss in terms of you get heavy citruses. I get mandarin, I get some bergamot, some lemon in there. But then you get that little kick of ginger, which gives it a little spiciness, a little bit of character, I like to say. And then in the dry down is where these two fragrances really differ because that one Pacific Rock Moss stays more fresh and airy throughout. Whereas this one has those kind of warm, ambery, cozy, kind of woodsy notes in there. I think he's even got cashmere in there. So it's kind of subtle and turns into a... Uh, a much more refined smell rather than just being a freshie. And that's why I say Ingenious Ginger is the perfect fragrance for like all year round because it's still good enough for summer and spring because it's got the citruses in there. It's still a little bit fresh. It's got a little bit of sweetness, but then the dry down is it's a little bit more dense and you've got the darker, stronger notes to carry you through the cold weather. So yeah, man, I think this one's beautiful for all year round, but I love it in the summer. And if this isn't one that you've tried yet, I urge you to because out of the fresher fragrances from Goldfield and Banks, this is number one for me. There's other good ones like Sunset Hour, Bohemian Lime, like I already mentioned, but I don't think anything really comes close to this. And now let's move on to what everyone wants to know about, which is performance. So I said Pacific Rock Moisture going to get that five to six hours which is not amazing for the price with ingenious ginger loads of people have actually dm me saying well, well it's been a little bit 50 50 people have dm me saying oh my god like this is beautiful this one lasts all day i get great compliments with this projection on this is amazing then i've had people on the other side of the spectrum saying that oh this one don't last like i'm not getting like anything more than five six hours so that kind of shocked me because when i wear it personally i'm getting eight to nine hours even pushing ten and I'm literally smelling it all throughout the scent, like on my clothes, I'm walking, I'm turning, I'm moving, I'm literally picking up whiffs of it. So let's just go moderate and I'll say this fragrance is going to last you seven to eight hours, more eight, and projection's decent. But definitely, if you've tried this fragrance, I beg you, let me know down in the comments what kind of performance you get from it. And before I round up the video, let's just say, if I was about to go on holiday right now, right this second, which fragrance am I taking out of these two? And I think from the way I just described it, you know I'm taking Ingenious Ginger. 
I think I'd wear this one more, especially I'll rock it during the day easily and then nighttime I think it's, it's still a little bit of a sexy fragrance where I could dress up, go down for a few drinks and this one will do. Whereas if I bought Pacific Rock Moss, I'll just rock it during the daytime, go for a little swim, go back up to the room, shower and then put on something like this. But yeah man, Goldford & Banks is a great house. I've only just really dived into exploring their fragrances like a year ago. Recently I got Silky Woods Elixir which is absolutely fantastic. If you haven't tried the original Silky Woods, definitely try that. But if there's any other bangers that I haven't really mentioned or spoken about or I haven't tried, let me know down in the comments which is your favourite and I'll definitely test them. And that is the end of the video man. Shout out to every single person who watched to this point. Shout out to everyone for supporting, liking, comment, sharing, subscribing, all of that good stuff. Thank you. I literally appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So thank you guys. I hope everyone has a great day, a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and as always love for the love my people